Welcome to iOS 17, where you can leave a FaceTime video message like this, and you can finally set multiple timers and even make a clone of your voice. Joanna, are you really doing iOS tips again? Yes. Yes, I am not real Joanna voice because iOS 17 is here and there are things that people need to know. Okay, so this year isn't really that dramatic of an overhaul. But if you look closely, there are some useful tools, though, not too closely. Because Is17 has a new feature that warns you when you hold your phone too close to your face. I hope you'll do 17 tips for OS 17. You get 10 tips and that's it. Okay, fine. Maybe I'll do 17. Let's do this. Before starting, please subscribe to the channel and give us your likes. Let's get started. 1. Contact poster. This is my contact poster. It's not really video. It looks like this. This is the screen that will now appear when you call someone else or exchange contact information. You can design it. However you'd like, I'll change it to a more modern font and maybe a white. You pick up this call right in the phone app, tap contacts, then your name at the top, then tap edit in the upper right, then edit again under your photo. Then customize to edit your current one. You pick a main photo or an emoji as the background and then you can also change the size font and color of your name. You won't pick it up. Nobody picks up the phone. 2. Name drop. Want to share contact info? Stop texting your information and start bumping phones together. Joanna Jen and Joanna Stern. Definitely not the same people. When two phones running iOS 17 are brought near each other. You'll see this trippy effect top share and well, that's what happens. Similar to AirDrop named Drop needs Bluetooth enabled. You can also use the feature to wirelessly share photos or websites. It's super cool when it works. Nope, this keeps happening. Do something you love each other. I just want to give credit. Android has had this sort of feature since around 2017. Okay, I feel better now that I've said that. Let's move on. 3. FaceTime video messages. Sometimes when your friend or alter ego doesn't pick up, you just want to leave a FaceTime message after ringing for a while. You'll see the record video button, press it, and you'll get a countdown timer before you have to leave your hey, Joanna. It's Joanna. Just call in and say hi. Hope you're having a good day. Call me back. Bye. When you're done recording, you can hit the retake button to re-record or hit the green arrow to send it off and send. I hope she likes it. Oh, the receiver can play the message in the FaceTime app. 4. Live voicemail. Live voicemail time for Grandma Joanna's old tech lesson. This is an answering machine. When somebody called you, you could hear the message out loud in real time. And if you wanted, you could pick up the call in the middle of the message. It was called call screening. And now it's back kind when someone leaves you a voicemail. Now, like my mom here, you can see a live transcription of the caller's message and you can pick up in the middle. Can you just give me a call back when you get this? Hello, you called me back? No, this is a new feature where I can pick up in the middle of your message. Yes, I'm going to screen your calls. Live voicemail is on by default in iOS 17. You can deactivate it by going to settings phone live voicemail. 5. Standby mode. Speaking of old school, Standby mode can turn your phone into basically a fancy alarm clock. This is best if you have a nice mag safe charging stand like this, $100 Balkan Boost Charge Pro. But really, you just have to make sure your iPhone is locked horizontal, not laying on a flat surface and charging swipe horizontally to choose between a widget screen, a photo screen, and a clock screen. In each of those three modes, you can swipe vertically to pick other options, and you can hold down on the screen for even more customization. There's also this cool night mode, where your display auto adapts to low light with this red tin. 6. Duck-in autocorrect. Yes, in iOS 17, if you type a certain profanity that rhymes with the word duck, it will no longer autocorrect to duck. Plus, when autocorrect changes a word, a bluish-gray line will show underneath tap it, and it will show the original word you typed if you want to choose that instead. And as you're typing, some word suggestions may pop up in gray tap on the spacebar to insert them. 7. Measure screen distance. Holding your phone too close to your face can be bad for your eyes. Apple suggests keeping the screen at least 12 inches away. But instead of doing this, this is how we should all be walking around.
You can enable screen distance, which warns you if your phone is too close. It won't let you use the phone until you've backed it up to the right distance. To enable it, go to settings, screen time, screen distance, and turn it on. This is a great feature for some people. 8. Personal voice. This is primarily an accessibility feature for those that are at risk of losing their ability to speak to create a synthesized version of your voice. Go to settings, accessibility, then personal voice, and you'll be asked to record your voice by reading 150 randomized text prompts. It's so nice to see you again. Are you on your way? Just letting you know we're only at 30. Yes, 75 halfway there. These findings led to the creation of the radio and other devices. After that, the phone needs to be plugged in and locked so it can process the info. So basically, it needs to happen overnight when it's done. Enable live speech in settings, triple-click the side button, and type in whatever you like to be said out loud. This is me, Joanna, Joanna, Joanna. It's not great, but it there's some hints of me in there worried about someone stealing your voice. Well, Apple has built in some important privacy features here. It uses on device machine learning. So it isn't sent to Apple's servers. Plus, you need to use Face ID to create this feature or log in to access it. 9. Custom stickers. Custom stickers hold down on subject in a photo watch for the shimmering outline. Then select Add Sticker. It will automatically save to your sticker's drawer. Then, you can select Add Effect to add some different styles to it. And if it's a live photo, it does a little animation. Now, when you're in a message, you can send that sticker. 10. Check in messages. iOS can now automatically text someone when you get to a destination. So people don't worry if you forgot to do it yourself. Let's see if my phone checks in with this phone. When I get to New York Penn Station on my phone, I went to Messages and tapped the plus button. Then More and then Check In. It automatically defaults to your home location, press Edit, and type in another location. Then I selected my mode of transportation and sent the message to Joanna's phone. About 15 minutes later, when I arrived at Penn Station, my phone automatically sent a message to Joanna saying I had arrived. Both phones do have to be running iOS 17, and you can adjust how much location and other information you share with your contact. Seven bonus tips. Oh, are you still watching? Let's do some more tips. Bonus two-factor verification texts and emails can automatically be deleted by going to settings, passwords, password options, clean up automatically in Safari. Tap the A's in the bottom left and select listen to page. Let's all start leaving voicemails again. You can now also download Maps and Apple Maps so you can access them offline. Oh, and you can right swipe on a specific message to reply to it in the Find My app. You can now share the location of an air tag with another person. You can finally set multiple timers in the Clock app or by asking Siri, how many timers do you have set? There are three timers. This is the future we were promised, and you no longer need to say hey in Hey Siri, Siri, is this some sort of sick joke? Okay, I found this on the web for, is there some sort of sick joke? Okay, thank you, Siri, enough. Here's enough. Oh, and you can snap a photo of your laundry tag, then tap the I in the Photos app to finally learn what those symbols actually mean. We did it. 17 tips for iOS 17. I will see you back here in 83 years for 100 tips for iOS 100 Siri. Will you be here for me in iOS 100? That's all for today. What do you think about iOS 17? Which feature is the most impressive one? And which update maybe shouldn't be given? Let us discuss in the comments below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, slap that notification bell, and stay with us. See you next time, my YouTube comrades.